no matter what women say, they live to be objectified. I don't want to fuck your degree. What else can you offer me besides sex? I don't want to fuck your personality either. Women want all the accolades of being the boss without any of the responsibilities. Live from Philadelphia, your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp. And welcome to the 391st edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Thursday, January 3rd, 2019. We are multicasting to seven channels simultaneously. Three YouTube channels, three Facebook pages, and, of course, Twitter. We're all over the goddamn place trying to spread the good word. It is great to have you guys in tonight. This is going to be a good episode, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Like most people, yours truly had a high school sweetheart. Her name was Jill. She was very pretty, extremely smart, and she loved her some Donovan. But there was one thing about her that my mother didn't like, and she never failed to mention it whenever she could. Jill was a white girl. Jill had long blonde hair, big, pretty green eyes. And as you can imagine, Jill's father wasn't too keen on our relationship either. And he was always in Jill's ear about it as much as, her, as, much as my mom nagged me about her. Now that I'm more than, what, two decades away, a little more than 20 years removed from that relationship, which, by the way, lasted into my college years, and I look back on it, <clears throat> I notice something. Jill's mother and my father didn't really have much to say about it. Maybe they approved, maybe they didn't, but they were noticeably silent during the whole thing. Now, let's not kid ourselves here, gentlemen. There are many interracial relationships in the world, but the ones that are the most polarizing are the ones between black males and white females. Let's just call it what it is. But the thing is, most people who seem to have a problem with it are black women, just like are white men and black women, just like Jill's father and my mother. And if you pay attention, you'll also notice that in high school, okay, high school aged interracial relationships, the battle lines are drawn much the same way. White fathers and black mothers are almost always the most vehement dissenters when their daughters date their black sons, when their white daughters date their black sons. So now the question becomes, why is this? Why is it that black mothers, that white mothers and black fathers stay comparatively silent while their spouses raise hell about it? Well, tonight, I'm going to break this down from each parent's point of view and tell you what either parent is afraid to say or admit out loud. My opening rant is brought to you by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Vibes will not only drastically reduce your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you've ever had. If you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that is Donovan15, Donovan15 to get 15% off. If you have a question or a comment about why black mothers and white fathers have a problem with their teenage sons and daughters dating interracially, give me a call, 914-205-5356. If you have an unrelated question about girls, game, finance, fitness, or anything else that pertains to increasing your value and agency as a man, you can give me a call too, but bear in mind, bear in mind, don't want to make this into a 30-minute consultation. I'll have to book one of those. Follow, add, and like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just do a quick search for Donovan Sharp on all three platforms. I don't post anything on social media anymore, guys. I just use those platforms to stream maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of my show. Then, of course, I get them over here to my main channel. But if you want to see the memes I post, articles I find, you know, or articles that I get submitted, pictures, anything else I would normally post on social media, make sure you become a patron. 
I'm actually now using Patreon as my de facto social media feed. So anything I would normally post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter now will be posted on Patreon. I'm going to have to pause my slideshow here so I can make sure. I don't know, like my picture keeps fucking up for some reason. Like there's the brightness. If I turn the brightness up too much... Eh, there we go. Let, let, let's turn the brightness up now. Let's take the contrast down a little bit so I can lose the shine off of that shirt. There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. I want to make sure everyone can see my beautiful face and everything that goes on on the screen. There we go. Speaking of Patreon... To get access to all of my content in its entirety, in its completion, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video, so you can listen on the go or watch at your leisure. Now, you can watch my show, of course, Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern, but if you want to be able to rewatch or re listen to every episode in their entirety, Less than 17 cents a day is all it takes. Make sure you guys sign up for my weekly newsletter to stay in the know on all things TSR and to stay in the loop in the event that I get deplatformed. Just scroll to the bottom, just scroll to the bottom of my homepage, DonovanSharp.com. Plug in your email, and that's that. Literally takes like two seconds. Two seconds. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my show and you want to contribute, you can do that through the Bob and Sacramento Streamlabs link. www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. Again, that is www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. YouTube wisely takes something like 30% of Super Chat off the top, which is which is very which is very smart of them. But if you want 100% of your contribution to come to the show, the Streamlabs link is absolutely the best way to do it. All right. Let us go to the chat, see who we've got in the house. All right. Ryan Sullivan pops the cherry. Rob Cruz gets sloppy seconds. Javon Smiley says this should be good. Well, of course. You're the one fucking her in the ass. Charles Caballero gets the finish on her face. And Mr. Old School Writer, Mr. Old School Writer gets to get it all on camera. Been a while, Mr. Old School Writer. Good to see you in here. <laughs> Charles wants to know, does the guy who films it also uploads it, uploads a video to Pornhub? I don't know, maybe. All right. Rob Cruz in the house. Got to ask Donovan what the heck happened. Um... I don't understand, Rob. You got to be a little more specific. Infinite Peaks, shout out to you. Javon Smiley, good to see you in here. Sean Hopper is in the house. Sean in Tampa is in the house tonight. Mr. Old School Writer says that new intro is fresh. Yeah, I appreciate it. I worked very hard on it. So I'm very, very, I'm very proud of it. JC says, so the only reason a white girl sleeps with a black guy is if her father's a beta? Are you asking me a question or are you making a are you making a, an observation? Shout out to Miami J with the $25 contribution. Says, Happy New Year, Professor. Break is over. Miami J with the $25 contribution. You only need one thousand six hundred and now thirty dollars to catch up to Bob in Sacramento, who has contributed a grand total of one thousand six hundred and fifty-five dollars to the show. That that's unbelievable. Focus Drew is new to the channel. Good to see you in here. Javon Smiley says hashtag Team Snow Bunnies. <laughs> All right. All right, so already uh, an interesting debate in here. JC says, has the live feed started? Yeah, started uh, about 15 minutes ago, about 10 minutes ago, actually. 
All right. Miami J in the house. Appreciate that. Okay. Oh, JC is responding to Ryan Sullivan. All right, my bad. You guys know I like to shoot first, ask questions later. Brandon Storball is in the house. Good to see you in here. Been a while. Kyle Mitchell says the reason white women sleep with black men is because the man is me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, uh, Miami J. He says, he says his total is probably closer. Yeah, he's probably closer to 1599 in, in, in terms of catch in Bob in Sacramento. All right, well, a lot of uh, a lot of you guys have different thoughts, hypotheses, theories. If you want to talk about it, like I said, give me a call. But let's go ahead and get this party started. We're going to start off with white fathers. Give me one second here. Huh, that's interesting. All right. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. There it is. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So we're going to start off with White Fathers. Uh, my bad for that um, for that uh, snafu. Now, when Devin and I first started talking, she told me that if I were to meet her parents, that they would love me and they would have no problem with our relationship. Okay? She said that they'd give us their blessing and would be perfectly okay with us to which I responded of course they don't have a problem with me being black you're past the wall and the funny thing is okay she laughed and said god damn you're harsh but she knew I was right because right after she told me that she then told me if we were dating in high school it would be a very different story with her father. Regardless of race, gentlemen, women of all races are the most sexually viable during their fertile years. I would say between, what, 18 and 26 years old, give or take. Now, Devin and her father both know that she's not nearly as valuable as she was 10, 15 years ago. So he's not as protective of her as she once was. Devin's 34. She'll be 35 next month. Guess what? Back when she was 20, she's she was a lot hotter. I've seen pictures. When she was 25, she was hot. Okay? Now, of course, she's a grown woman. She doesn't live at home anymore, which are both factors in terms of why her father doesn't feel the need to protect her anymore. But the fact remains that because she's not in her prime, her father is much less invasive with regards to her relationship with me. But for pretty young white girls who are in their sexual primes... There are three main reasons white fathers are strongly opposed to their daughters dating black boys. No, it has nothing. Some of it might have to do with the fact that they are racist, but that seems to be the obvious thing. But I'm going to point out three. Three reasons why white fathers have a problem with their young teenage daughters dating black boys. Oh, thank you. Can you bring me a bottle of water too? Oh, my God. I've got a splitting headache, and Devin just came to the rescue with a 200-count bottle of Advil. So, whew, thank God. Number one, reputation. Gentlemen, white fathers are petrified that when and if their daughters date black boys or starting to date black boys, she will, dude, she'll blast it all over social media. Shout out to Rob Cruz. With the $20 contribution, says Donovan. Ryan Sullivan was asking, when will I get my wrench? I told him I had one. Don't know what happened. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on a second. Why does Rob Cruz not have a wrench? That's weird. Thank you. Thank you. Where in the hell? Okay, so Rob Cruz. Um, I'm going to get you a wrench here. In, uh, I'm going to get you a wrench here in a second. I'll make you one of the mods. Anyway, white fathers are petrified. That when and if their daughters date black boys, she's going to blast it all over social media, guys. She'll post pictures, she'll post videos, and anything she can think of to tell the world about her boyfriend. Now, to be fair, she'd be doing this anyway, regardless of her boyfriend's race. But it's the black boys that her dad wants her not to broadcast. Let's not get it twisted here. 
in a white father's mind, this reflects poorly on him. His friends and family will indirectly wonder, well, where did he go wrong with her? Yes, gentlemen, this really happens. Number two, he knows that white boys are going to stay away. Let's not beat around the bush here, guys. White fathers know that if his daughter gets a reputation for dating black boys, white boys will stay away from her. And if she continues her interracial dating ways, she will likely never have a relationship of consequence with a strong, high-value, masculine white male. Because again, he knows that white men, consider most white men, consider commingling with black men as a deal breaker when it comes to dating, marrying, and sometimes even fucking white women. Straight up. Ray and PG says he loved bringing the white girls home. So did your boy. Number three. If she has a mixed kid, dad knows her options for a long-term relationship down the road are limited to just black men or weak white men, neither of which in his mind are good options for his kid. I want you guys to keep in mind that just because a white father doesn't want his daughter to date black boys doesn't make him a racist. Now, it could certainly be a strong indicator, but this isn't the way to judge that one way or the other. Are you almost done? The truth is, guys, fathers are keenly aware of the sexual marketplace. And he knows that if his daughter has a reputation for dating black guys, the only way she'll be able to consolidate on a white male is to move out of town and delete all of her social media accounts. Which, by the way, a lot of white girls do when they've hit the wall and don't want anyone to know about her extended ride on the dark side carousel. I mentioned it in a previous episode a while back that once you go black, you can't go back. White fathers know this to be true, gentlemen. White girls, unfortunately, figure this out much later, and by then, it's much too late, which is the main reason why white fathers forbid borderline, forbid their daughters from dating black boys, which only makes them want to date them more. If you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come on over to my main channel to watch the rest of the show. Search for Donovan Sharp on YouTube, and the first channel you see with my face as the logo is where you need to come. That is my main channel. There we are. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come to my main To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.